Hi, people. I am so excited because I see this problem that we're going to do. And some of you actually already started this one in class, and we're going to start out, we're going to solve it by drawing to help us, and then we're going to solve it using algebra. Okay? So to prove our answer, to prove that the solution is what it is, let's try drawing a picture. So first step, we need to draw out x, and then we are adding 35 to it. So I'm going to add on to this 35. Don't know what x is yet, so I'm not sure, you know, how big to make 35 compared to x. So I'm just going to leave it. And x plus 35, if I take x right here and I add on that 35 to it, it says it is worth 232.5. So this whole thing is worth 232.5. So if I need to figure out the solution for x, how could I get it with these two numbers based on the picture? Well, I'd have to go backwards. If this whole thing is 232.5 and I know this much is worth 35, I could just subtract 35 from 232.5. So how would you do that? This is a decimal, 232.5. Where are you going to place the 35? Right here. If you want to be wrong, you don't want it right there because that's like 35 bucks. So that's going to go under the 32. And then when I subtract, hopefully you can subtract. Um, if not, watch how I do it, or uh, pause the video and try it. So 5 minus 0, can't do that one, so I'm going to take and borrow. 12 minus 5, take and borrow. And I am left over with what x is worth, 197.5. All right, now I'm going to take that same equation that I am so excited about and I am going to solve it instead of using a picture. I'm going to get that same answer, what we just got, using algebra. All right, so the first step using algebra, I'm going to draw in my line. I'm thinking of that scale. On one side of the scale, I have x plus 35. And on the other side of the scale, I have 232.5. And on that scale, right now, they both are equal. They are, one is not bigger than the other. They're equal to each other. So here's my first line. My second line in algebra, I'm going to rewrite x plus 35, and I'm going to leave some space, and I'm going to rewrite 232.5. And I'm going to leave some space. There's my second line. And then from that line, I should be able to just get what x is. So how can I get this plus 35 to vanish so that I am just left with x on the left hand side on the left hand side of the scale. So I just have x over there. Well in order to do it I'm going to have to take out those th 35. Those 35 positive. So to take those out I'm going to have to subtract them away. So I'm going to subtract them away. So now when I have 35 minus 35, I am left with 0. So I'll just have x plus 0, which is just x. And then on the right, I'm going to have to actually subtract. And we already did the subtraction. And we got 197.5. And there is how we get our solution when we are using algebra. And the last part that we discussed in class was checking it. So now if we actually check to see if this works, what do we have to do? We have to rewrite the equation. x plus 35 equals 232.5. I'm going to plug in for x what I got, the solution, 197.5. And I'm going to add 35, and I'm going to see, is that 232.5? Well, I'm going to check it by lining it up, adding, doing the addition and seeing if I do get this answer on the right. And I do. So yes, it's checked and it's right. Okay, one more problem here. Let's try one that's a little simpler. x 
minus 16 equals 40. You could probably do this in your head, figure out the solution, or at least close to it. <clears throat> First step, we're going to draw a picture. First method. So I'm going to draw out x. In this case, I'm not adding on, so I'm not going to add on 16. No. Because it says subtract, so I need to take off 16 off the x. And if I take off 16, it says what I am left with right here, what I'm left with is what? It says I'm left with 40. If I take off 16 from the x, I am left with 40. So now, based on my picture, how do I get back to what x is worth? Well, it says x is this whole thing, so that means what do I have to do with 40 and 16? I would have to add them together to end up with 56 as my solution for x. Then, I wanted to cover with you the second method, which is the algebraic method. So that, I'm going to draw my scale. On one side of the scale, thinking about it, is x minus 16. On the other side is 40. And right now they are balanced. Okay, they are balanced to each other. So if I do something to one side, I'm going to have to do it to the other. So first step, first line, rewriting the equation. And then I'm going to rewrite x minus 16 with leave a little space. And I'm going to rewrite 40, leaving a little space behind it. And I'm trying to get down to just what x is worth. So how can we get this minus 16 to go away from the x? How can we get that to go away on the scale? Because in the last problem, we could just take them out. In this case, I have negative 16, a minus 16. So I'm going to have to do the inverse operation of subtraction, which is addition. So if I add 16, the opposite of negative 16, I'll get 0. So if I do that to one side of the scale, I have to do it to the other. And now, as you can see, these are opposites. That'll be 0. And I'll just be left with x on this side. And then on the right, if I add 16 over there, just like I said here, 40 plus 16 is 56. And I have my solution of what I got earlier. And now your favorite part, checking it. I rewrite the original. x minus 16 was supposed to be 40. Instead of using x, I now think I know the solution. I think it's 56. Minus 16, and I'm questioning it. Is it going to be 40? So I'm going to take that 56, subtract 16, see if I get that answer of 40, and I do. So I say yes. I checked it, and it's right. So tomorrow in class, we're going to practice some more with that. And we're also going to solve equations that don't have addition or subtraction, that look something like 12t equals 144. So instead of working with addition or subtraction, now we're working with what operation here? Multiplication. So we're going to be drawing some pictures and solving those with algebra. And we're also going to look at ones where I have a variable that's being divided by a number. So now I'm looking at division. We're going to see what that picture looks like and being able to solve those types of equations using a picture and by using algebra. Okay? So see you then.